another the other comment I just wanted to make as natural farmers, we always make that analogy of like using a fungicide or like an herbicide is kind of like taking your skin and ripping it off. Yeah, sure I got now I got clean, sterile environment, but as soon as something lands on me, I now immediately got infection. So if I use a fungicide, yeah, I can get rid of it, but I've now stripped all those beneficial guys as well. It's like you got a criminal in Hilo and you use a nuclear bomb to get them. Yeah, you got them, but you caused a lot of collateral damage as well. And so fungicide, we tend to go away from that and instead of just using one bomb to blow it up, we just bring in beneficial people to like hold space, to do good things. And so we take a probiotic approach and that's what all about the IMOs is about is just bringing so much diversity, so many good things into the soil that there's no room for bad guys. You know, if there's a bad guy in here, we throw him out, right? <laughs> but if we set off a bomb in a bad guy game, who's gonna throw him out? <laughs> so we like to use just simple analogies along those lines to just start our thinking towards just putting good guys out there and really trying to see how can we get the good guys? What do they need? What do the good guys need from us? to naturally combat things like this. Because in a healthy forest, you don't see stuff like this happening. But as we toxify our world more and more, you start to see all kinds of plates like this just popping up. And so our whole approach in natural farming is just restore, regenerate, rejuvenate, get foods out there, get good guys out there, and let them take care of it for us. So that's my mama on that.